What's going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. So today's video is going to be a video from uh, when I was up in Massachusetts. I went out for an early morning paddle boarding session with a couple of my buddies and caught an absolute giant fish. Caught a bunch of nice fish, but caught an absolute giant first thing in the morning. Now today's video is going to be out again on a paddle board. Like I said, I've never fished off a paddle board before, so this was kind of like a first time for me. I think I ended up catching three or four fish in today's video. Got bit a couple more times, so it was definitely a great little video. And it was all done on a big swim bait as well, which I absolutely love. So stick around. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the action. Again, hope you guys enjoy. You look like my dad trying to take a selfie. It's not a bad thing. Alan's a classy guy. Yeah, <laughs> Why? Because he's black, Dara? Yeah. Oh, come back for it. Little one swirled on it. Missed the frog, but did try and grab it. It's a good sign. You know, I gotta say, I am really liking this paddle board. It's not mine, obviously. It's one of the camps that I'm working at. I borrowed it for a little morning paddle, but. This thing's nice. It's stable. I'm not standing up on it yet, but it is pretty stable, I can tell. And, uh, I mean, for all the lack of storage space, it's really pretty nice. I understand why people fish off of these. I would probably consider buying one of these at some point. I could find one for a good price, but I think it's sweet. Let's put the frog down for a minute, pick the clash up, until we get to this next little patch of lily pads up here. He says that every time he gets on the paddleboard. <laughs> this is a core memory. Uh, that's so freaking. What's the word? Wholesome? Yeah, that's so wholesome. I love that for him. I'm out here fishing with three people from the. Oh, I guess they're not all from the UK. Two people from Scotland, and then one person from somewhere in Great Britain. I don't really know. But I was about to say somewhere in London. That's not true. London's a city. Anyway, uh, out here with some foreigners today. They don't really do this all that much over there, apparently, so... This is a, uh, a pretty big thing for them. They're really stoked on it. Come on, I'm really stoked on that. Let's go! Oh, biggin! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude, that's a biggin! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That's a freaking giant! First one in the morning! Let's go, boys! Oh my god, that's a huge fish. Look at the size of that. First one of the mornings in tub, dude. Let's go. Oh my god, look at the head on that one. That's a giant. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. First bite of the morning is on the clash, and it's an absolute giant dude that's unbelievable i love that i freaking love that oh my god these quad hooks are so mean i got her like in three different places with this back one kind of messing her up a little bit but i'm trying my hardest not to oh my god dude oh of course now she's rehooked under the gill or under the in. Okay. My God. Oh my God. Okay. Calm yourself. Calm. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. That is probably the second biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. That's unbelievable. All right. She's freaking pissed off. 
I am so mad I didn't bring my scale. Let me just check one more time. Yeah, no, of course not. Why would I have brought the one thing that I should have brought? God damn it. Whatever. That's a freaking tub. I'm gonna say at least five pounds. Just long, skinny. Almost like a Florida fish. Go on, mama. Appreciate you. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, and save clip. Oh my god, dude. Like, literally like 20 minutes into filming and fishing, and I just hooked that absolute behemoth. That's unbelievable. That's like the first real decent fish I've had on a swim bait in a long time, and that felt unreal. Oh my fucking god, dude. That was insane. I... I was not ready for that this morning. I am so freaking, I'm still waking up. Like I, I'm shaking, my everything is off right now. Like I, I don't, I don't know what just happened. That was, that was a start to the morning for sure. I was actually commenting literally yesterday at uh, Eric Thompson, shout out to you homie. The man always watches my videos, always likes and comments. Dope dude. I wish he had a YouTube page, but I think we're going to actually try and link up at some point so you guys might be able to see him on the channel. But anyway, I was literally talking to him last night or commenting back at him last night about how I would literally fight the cocaine bear to get a swim bait bite right now. And, well, <laughs> I guess I don't have to fight no bear, boys. <laughs> I'm trying to stay kind of quiet. I think I, I wooed a little loud earlier. And I feel kind of bad about that because it is early and we are right by camp and we shouldn't really be being that loud. And uh, yeah, I just kind of forgot. I got excited and uh, that's on me. But yeah, um, I am going to paddle on back this way, meet up with the folks for just a second, just to show off that absolute freak of a fish. Oh my lord. That was unbelievable. I can't pull. I'm still like, so did that really just happen? All right, well, yeah, we're gonna go uh, meet up with the group for a sec. And uh, then I kinda wanna fish a little bit more, as you could probably imagine. Dude, Whew. I don't have my scale, so I don't know how big it was, but it was at least five. Yeah. Here, yeah. Wow, I got a picture of it though, you wanna see? Yeah. It's freaking sick. Wow. Dude. Is that not crazy? What a big boy. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Thick Juan. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to bed. I'll see. <laughs> what do you mean you gotta go back to bed? I'm kidding. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna stay out here all day. Like That's it. I may as well just call it here. Day's not getting better. <laughs> Unless I catch like an absolute mega, but I don't think I'll catch anything bigger than that today. A behemoth. A grass panda. A slouch. All right. Enough of me messing around. Ed. I caught a giant. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. I told you I could do it. There's another one. I got another one. Another big one. Oh my god. Not as big as the last one, but I'll take it. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, 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 all right. Hakuna, your tatas, baby. I got you. I'm going to let you go. I just want a quick picture. I just want you to not hook me in the hand. Thank you. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, I would clap, but <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay. I thought those heavy storms were gonna turn the bite off, post front stuff, but it seems like it don't matter. Yeah. Seems like it don't matter. There we go. God dang it. Freaking quads, man. Another nice fish. Call that one like maybe three and three quarters, not quite four, but I'll take that for sure. 
All right, Mama. Appreciate it. Have a good one. <laughs> there she goes. Out underneath the paddleboard somewhere. <sighs> okay. Wow. I'm going to retie. I'm going to move this friggin' frog because I don't think I'm going to fish it much more. And uh, we're going to get back after it. Jesus. Alrighty. Well, that was kind of crazy. Wasn't really expecting that. Got ourselves, let's say a five pounder and then like a three and three quarter. So that's almost nine pounds for two fish. If we can have five fish today, this might potentially be my biggest five fish limit ever, which would be dope. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna hope and pray and uh, Maybe we'll cross paths with another big one. That was insane, dude. Like, that second fish hit it like an absolute ton of bricks. I thought I got snagged on something for a second. I went to go pop the rod and, or pop the bait, I guess. And whew, felt like I hit a rock. I was like, no, I'm gonna have to go get that. Apparently I didn't. Apparently it came to me in the best way possible. I guess I can probably go over the bait and rod and reel and all that stuff that I'm using. So, starting off with the bait, this is obviously the DRT Clash 9. Got it in glide mode today, mostly because I forgot the lip. That's on me, but it seems like it's working, so we're just gonna roll with it. This is kind of like a uh, custom paint job. I don't know what it's supposed to imitate. Maybe a bass, maybe a bluegill. Carp, crappie, shad. It's really just kind of like an ambiguous profile, but I love it. Also, like I said, we have the decoy quad hooks on there. Again, really liking these hooks. I haven't used them all too much, but I picked up a pack just to try out, and I think I might be switching most of my swim baits over to these hooks because they are unbelievably sharp. And then as far as rod and reel goes, we have the Phoenix M1. It's the 7.5 swim bait rod. I think it's for one to six ounce baits or one to five ounce baits, something like that. Really good little rod. I like this thing. Picked it up secondhand, and it's been an absolute killer of a rod. And the reel is just my Dial Coastal 200. I really like this reel. I had an issue with it a couple of months ago, but ended up getting it fixed for like 40 or 50 bucks. Shout out to uh, Reel Tweaks, by the way, if you guys have any uh, type of reel that malfunctioned or you want to get some upgrades in it or something, hit him up on Instagram. I'll leave him a link down below for you guys if you want to go check him out. He was the guy who was able to fix my Coastal, and uh, he did an absolutely bang up job. Thing feels like better than new. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't bring my scale. Actually, I'm really annoyed I didn't bring my scale because I would have loved to have seen how big those fish were. Again, I think that second one was probably about three and a half, three and three quarter. Definitely a fat fish. The, uh, the first one was not fat at all. Definitely a post-spawn female. Big old head, little tiny body. But uh, yeah, that was, oh, that was fun. just had another one. Oh my god. No way. Okay, well, maybe the hooks aren't that sharp. No, I'm kidding. I think he just kind of popped it. That was epic, though. Just another one fishing at glide mode. Holy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Literally next cast after I started casting again from retying. Oh my god. What is happening right now? This is like just a just a great morning just a great morning can't really say anything else other than that i was out here again fishing with some of my friends or i'm out here fishing while they're out paddling on the other sups over yonder but uh yeah i think i might just kind of hang around out here by myself today Is that another one i can't tell i feel like i'm just in grass that time Finally, god dang. Oh, that's a nice one too. Hell yeah, brother. All right, all right. Oh god, oh boy. Mess of a boat flip, but finally got another one. Let's go, dude. Number three on the Clash. I seem to really like this thing this morning. Whoa there. 
Oh, there, fella. There we go. Nice. Another little guy, probably about a two and a half pounder. Again, smallest one of the day, but I will take him later, Holmes. Peace. Well, alrighty then. Keep on fishing around this little grass line over here. This looks great. It's kind of shallow, but other than that, it looks really good. Water's pretty clear. Seems like there are fish over here. Maybe not absolute giants, but I've had my absolute giant for the morning, so I can't really be bothered. Although I would like it if I don't knock my frog rod off into the water. That would be just dandy. I've also got no idea where my friends got off to. I think they either got off the water or they're like on the other side of this little island over here, but I don't know where they are. So we're going to kind of make our way back towards the bank and uh, see if we can't spot ourselves the other four little orange paddle boards out here. Hopefully they can get smoked by a boat. There's some boaters out here pretty early, which is kind of surprising. I figured yesterday being 4th of July, everybody else would be kind of boated out and we'd have the lake to ourselves, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Did see a couple of fishermen down here, as well as just a couple of like wakeboarders or pleasure boaters, I guess. People who just get up and drive their boat around. It's seven in the morning. Let's see if there's anything on this little beaver dam. Hopefully not a beaver. I don't really want to hook a beaver right now. That seems like kind of a pain, but maybe a little beaver bass. Or even better, what if there's a bass that's big enough to eat a beaver over here? That would be dope. Just like sat out here by the entrance of the beaver hut, waiting for a beaver to come out for the morning. So you can just come up and... Oh, I do have a fish on. What the hell? That was so weird. What on God's green earth? Okay. There was a beaver hut bass. What do you know? Oh, he popped off. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Angry little dude. I had him hooked for like 30 seconds. I thought I felt something hit my line there. You guys probably saw me like half set the hook. And then I was like trying to feel where my bait was. And then all of a sudden a fish like jumped over here. I was like, oh my God, he's got my bait in his mouth. Okay, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna put you back. Don't worry about knocking my frog rod into the water again. Really gotta stop doing that. Oh god. <laughs> Almost just sunk myself too. Got too far back on the boat. Alrighty. Seems like I still have a little bit to learn about uh paddleboard fishing, but I'll take that later, bro. Wow, that was that was mind-numbing. I have no idea what just happened there. That was very strange. I don't think I've ever well, I've definitely never done that on a big bait before. Usually they hit it so hard you know it. You know when they're on, but that one, I don't know, maybe he hit it when I had a ton of slack in my line. He definitely did, because I, I didn't feel him for a little bit, but that was, that was strange. Not gonna lie, that was an odd bite. I feel a little stupid after that one, even more than normal. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, it was just like a little bit of a short morning session, but I ended up catching some decent fish out on the big swim bait. If you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see some more content from me. Check and recommend, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.